Hi everybody and welcome to Storytime. My name is Elizabeth Reimer and I'm the director of Freedom Public Library and this week our theme is time. Are you ready to have a good time at Storytime? I hope so. I want to give some shout outs to kids who sent me pictures in the last week. Ashton, Colin, and Evan really got creative making their own game boards with unique details and special rules. Ashton called his game Adventurous. Colin named his game Rattlesnake. And here's Evan with his finished board game. Here's Anna and Jackson in the woods. And here's a gang of cousins just finished watching story time. Bo, Piper, Michael, Bennett, Darla, Josie, Elsie, and Jack. Callie's about to turn seven and her brother Weston made her an early birthday present. Elsie and her dad had ice fishing success. Jack and Piper had ice fishing success too. Here's Linda with her kite. Logan's making a gingerbread man. Here's Natalie with her colorful board game and Natalie dancing along to the gong song. And last but not least is Tessa being a moose. If you'd like to be included in an upcoming shout out, please send your pictures to the email address down in the YouTube description below. Okay, are you ready to sing our story time song? It goes like this. Sit down, it's story time, and we're gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone. I like to see your eyes grow bright. I like to see you smile. Cause you're all growing up so fast. Let's share this little while. So sit down, it's story time, and we're gonna have some fun. Read books and sing some songs, so listen everyone. Listen everyone. Our first book today is a favorite of mine called When the Rooster Crowed and it's by Patricia Lilly and it's with illustrations by Nancy Winslow Parker. When the Rooster Crowed. Look at all the pigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pigs. When the sun came over the hill, the rooster crowed, Ten more minutes, said the farmer. Look, he's got a clock right next to his bed. He wants to get up at five. Boy, that's really early. It's ten till five. Ten more minutes. When the cow said, the rooster crowed, five more minutes, said the farmer. Look, the cats are like, time to get up, get up, get up. When the horse went, nay, the rooster crowed, cock a doodle doo. Just a few more minutes, said the farmer. Oh, he wants to stay in bed. When the pigs went, oink, oink, the rooster crowed, cock a doodle doo. One more minute, said the farmer. Well, now the dogs come in. When the chicken said, cluck, 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 the rooster crowed, cluck, Half a minute, said the farmer. Oh, now the dog's on the bed. When the farmer's wife yelled, Albert! The rooster crowed, cock a doo doo In a second, said the farmer. Oh, you're the puppies now. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get the farmer up. But when the cow said, moo! And the horse said, nay. Now they're getting mad. Look, and the crow says, caw. And the pig said, oink, oink. Look, they're turning over their trough, empty trough. And the chicken said, cluck, cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Moo, nay, oink, oink, caw. And the farmer's wife yelled, Albert! And the rooster crowed, cock a doo doo doo! All at the same time, the farmer said, All right! Wah! He jumped out of bed. Look, they scattered everybody. <laughs> Pulled on his clothes, milked the cow. Look, the cow looks 
annoyed. Fed the horse. Also looks a little annoyed. Slop the pigs. It's about time. Gathered the eggs and sat down for breakfast. What's for breakfast? Can you see? Mmm, pancakes? So that book makes me think of this activity in our magic bag. I've got some pictures of different animals and we're gonna sing Old MacDonald, okay? So let's see. If you were here, I'd let you choose, but uh, you're not, so I'm gonna choose for us. All right, what's the first one? Oh, what's this one? What does that say? It's a pig saying oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Piggy pig. Do you like pigs? I want to have a little pig lit here to show you. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, all right, what's next? What's this all? A hen. We'll say hen. What does a hen say? Buck, buck, buck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a hen, E-I-E-I-O, with a buck, buck here and a buck, buck there, here, buck there, buck everywhere, buck, buck. Old MacDonald had a hen, E-I-E-I-O. I bet he had a few hens. One hen wouldn't be enough. It would only be one egg, maybe, a day. All right, oops, I peeped. That's not fair, let's see, let's think. Well, what, oh, God, help, help, help. It's not working. Get out of the way, you horse. <laughs> oh, what is it, a duck? Duck says what? Quack! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here quack, there quack, everywhere quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. All right. Two more, what's this one? Oh, the horse wants to come out. It's the biggest one in there. Ready? What's the horse say? Right! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay-nay here and a nay-nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, one more. Let's see what it is. What is it? What? <gasps> Old MacDonald had a watch. E-I-E-I-O, with a tick tick here and a tick tick there, here a tick, there a tick, everywhere a tick tick. Old MacDonald had a watch. E-I-E-I-O. <gasps> it's time to slop the pigs. I forgot to tell you that we're going to be using rhythm sticks today. So go and get some rhythm sticks. If you have rhythm sticks, that's great. If you have like chopsticks, that's good. A couple of spoons from the kitchen or some sticks from the yard, okay? So you can pause the video, run and go get. Okay, this one goes like this. Tick tock goes the clock. Can you do that? Tick tock goes the clock. Waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Oh my, it's a cat. Look, I got my whiskers. Meow. <laughs> All right, ready? <clears throat> Tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Oh my, it's an ant. Got my antennae, my feelers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. All right. Tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Oh my, it's a duck. Wait a minute. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> okay. Tick tock goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Oh my, it's a walrus. Wait, where does it come from? Like this? Yeah. See my tusks? <laughs> okay. Tick tock 
goes the clock, waiting for someone to knock, knock, knock. Oh my, it's a, only need one, unicorn. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do Hickory Dickory Dock. Another clock one. Ready? Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. Ready? The clock struck one. Bong. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two. Ready? One, two. The mouse said, boo. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three. One, two, three. The mouse said, whee. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four. Ready? One, two, three, four. The mouse said, no more. Hickory dickory dock. I'm going to give you a sneak preview of our craft already. It's a cuckoo clock, and maybe some of you haven't ever seen a cuckoo clock. Here's a little video of a cuckoo clock in action. So this is going to be our craft today, and with it's a, got the little door where the, the the bird comes out, cuckoo, cuckoo, and the time. Set the time if you want to, and these are the things that um, you pull them down and it winds the clock up. I'm not sure the name for that. I should have figured that out. There's also sometimes like a pendulum that goes back and forth, tick tock, tick tock. This one doesn't have that. So um, this goes like this, tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh, now it's one o'clock. Ready? One cuckoo. Ready? Cuckoo. Can you say that? Cuckoo. All right. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, now it's two o'clock. Ready? Cuckoo. Cuckoo. So you do it twice, right? That tells you what time it is. If you're in your bedroom and you hear the cuckoo clock, you're like, count them up. Cuckoo, 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 right? Okay, tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, now it's three o'clock, ready? Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. I'm going to do it this time, and you count how many cuckoos I do so you'll know what time it is. Ready? Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, oh now it's, I'm not going to tell you, oh clock. Ready? Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. How many? Did you say six o'clock? Yep, it's dinner time, yippee! Okay, now it's time to sing about you. What do you want to sing about? What are you wearing? You got new pants on? You got some colorful socks? Do you have a ribbon in your hair? A new t-shirt? Well, I'm wearing a blue sweater today. I was wearing a blue sweater last week, but it's a different blue sweater. I'm gonna sing about my blue sweater, ready? Elizabeth's wearing her blue sweater, her blue sweater, her blue sweater. Elizabeth's wearing her blue sweater all day long. Please take a bow. Yay, Elizabeth! Yippee doo! What are you singing today about, Bennett? My cowboy hat. Okay. Bennett's wearing his cowboy hat, his cowboy hat, his cowboy hat. Ben is wearing his cowboy hat all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! 
Michael, what are you singing about today? He's singing about his cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Michael's wearing his cowboy hat. His cowboy hat. His cowboy hat. Michael's wearing his cowboy hat all day long. Please take a bow. Yay! Our next book is a new book to the library called What Time Is It, Mr. Crocodile? And it's by Judy Sierra with illustrations by Doug Cushman. Down by Bristlecone Bay, where the whifflefish play, Mr. Crocodile, Esquire, is planning his day. Mm, things to do tomorrow. 6 o'clock, wake up. 10 o'clock, eat breakfast. 11 o'clock, swim. 12 o'clock, go to town. 1 o'clock, visit the library. Oh, 2 o'clock, shop for food. 3 o'clock, bath and snack. 4 o'clock, catch those pesky monkeys. 5 o'clock, cook those pesky monkeys. 6 o'clock, eat those pesky monkeys. 7 o'clock, read a story. 8 o'clock, sing a lullaby to me. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Time to wiggle my toes. Time to put on my clothes. Time to brush every tooth till it sparkles and glows. Look at all the pesky monkeys. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? They're all over the place. Time to start off my day at the Stingray Cafe with a barnacle bagel and a sea slug souffle. Sea slug souffle. Can you say that five times fast? Sea slug, no, I can't. <laughs> what time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Look, they've made a sand, some sand art of a crocodile. Time to plunge in the bay, time to splash, time to play, time to practice my crocodile water ballet. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Time to roll into town, time to twirl round and round, time to skate right side up, or yikes, upside down. Whoop. Banana peel. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Time to take a quick look for a recipe book. Hurry up, hurry up, I've got monkeys to cook. Look, they're all at the library. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Two o'clock now. Time to shop where it's smart at the Crocodile Mart. How did all these bananas get into my cart? <sighs> Look at all of them. I wonder how they all got in there. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Three o'clock now. Time to soak, time to dream, time to plot, time to scheme, time to guzzle croc -co cola uh, croc cola and seaweed ice cream. Look, ooh, surfing on the sponge, making faces in the mirror. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Time to capture my meal as I sit at the wheel of my marvelous monkey collecting mobile. Four o'clock now. Look, he's got a gadget. <gasps> what time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Oh, did it mess up? Time to cook. I'm too tired. I'm so uninspired because my plan to catch monkeys completely backfired. What time is it? Five o'clock? What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Time to say, I was rude with a bad attitude. And I'd much rather have you as friends than as food. Hmm. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Look at all the monkeys jumping on the bed. You know that poem? Time to read about Fred who bumped his poor head and the five little monkeys that bounced on his bed. Seven o'clock, that's the story. What time is it, Mr. Crocodile? Time to sing a sweet tune neath the crocodile moon. Time to whisper, I hope you'll be coming back soon. Down by Bristlecone Bay, where the whiffle fish play, Mr. Crocodile Esquire is planning his day. Oh, another day to plan. What? Things to do tomorrow, 6 o'clock wake up, 10 o'clock eat breakfast, 11 o'clock 
teach monkeys to swim. 12 o'clock, go to town. 11, 1 o'clock, visit the library. Get good monkey stories. 2 o'clock, stop for food. Lots of bananas. 3 o'clock, bath and snack. 4 o'clock, play catch with those nice monkeys. 5 o'clock, cook for those nice monkeys. 6 o'clock, eat with those nice monkeys. 7 o'clock, read a story. No bouncing this time. 8 o'clock, sing a lullaby together. Well, well, well. Look at all the clocks. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. All of them say 12 o'clock, midnight. Time for being sound asleep. Okay, go get your rhythm sticks because we're going to do a couple of rhythm stick songs. Both of them are by Hap Palmer. And the first one is called Tap your sticks. Tap your sticks in the air with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks in the air with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the Back floor down. with the one, one two, three. Tap your sticks to the right with the one, one two, three. Tap your sticks to the left with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the right with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the left with the one, two, three. Rub your hey, rub sticks em. together. Rub em, rub em, rub em. Shake them high above. Next one is called the woodpecker and what we're going to do is listen for the pattern of the tapping and then we're going to copy it okay so are you ready to go got your listeners on all right let's go woodpecker woodpecker knocking on a tree Eck out a rhythm and we'll echo you woodpecker woodpecker knocking on a tree Oh. 
Our next book is called Wait, and it's by Antoinette Portis, who also did the illustrations. Have you ever been with your mom or dad and they're in a hurry to go someplace, but you see all kinds of things that you want to do along the way? That's what this book is about. Wait. Look, mom's looking at her watch. Hurry, hurry, it says. But look, the little boy is looking back at the... But wait, I want to see the doggy. Wait, it says. <laughs> Hurry! Oh, what's coming up? What do they see? He's looking back at the doggy. Come on, honey, hurry. Wait, he's got to stop and say hi to the construction worker. Hi. Ooh, look, a big cement mixer. Look at the cement pouring out. Hurry. Ooh, they're coming up to some ducks, a man feeding ducks some bread. Wait, look, he got some bread to feed the duck. The duck looks like it wants that, doesn't he? Hurry. There she goes. Oh, boom, going by the ice cream truck. That's hard to run by. Look, he stops. Wait, that's the one I want. The rainbow popsicle. Mmm, that looks good, doesn't it? Which one would you choose? Mmm, that one looks yummy to me. Oh, what? I think that one for me. Oh, nope, don't have enough time. Hurry. Look, it says station. I think they're going to the train. Wait, gotta look at the colorful fishes, Mom. And the bush covered in what? Hurry, she says. Wait, it looked like flowers, but what? It was a bush covered in red butterflies. Oh, now what's happening? I see some big raindrops. Catching them in, on his tongue. Hurry! Look, put on your raincoat. Uh, wait, I'm catching raindrops on my tongue. Hurry, hurry, hurry! But look at all the umbrellas, Mom. <gasps> hurry! Look, they're just about to make their train. But he's looking over there. What does he see? Wait! Look, he's pulling on her dress and pointing. What is it, honey? Oh. Wow. A double rainbow. Yes. Wait. Okay, so now it's time to make our clock, our cuckoo clock. And if you, we've got a, the short hand points to the hour and the long hand points to the minutes. So if that's pointing at eight and that one's right up at 12, whoops, I think it needs to be a little tighter. You can make yours tighter. All right, so let's get going on that. What you'll need is the clock and a little bird and some pieces of paper for the hands and the the weights and you'll have a little brad to put on the hands together and some glue and some markers all right so i've got a few markers they're not all the markers i need some more markers a bunch of different colors to choose from 
So we've got all the numbers around the clock. So you can leave them plain if you want to. You can color them all the same color or you can color them all different colors. The person who did this one not only did different colors, but even for the ones that have two numbers like the 12, did them different colors. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know how you're gonna do it. Can't wait to see. There, I did all of those purple. And now I think some orange would be good. So I colored my clock, and now I'm going to color the little bird. What color is your bird gonna be? I think I'll make mine yellow. Looks like a yellow bird to me, but you can make it whatever color you want. And I will color the branch brown. And maybe some green leaves. Oh, the green is broken. The green is not working, so I guess I won't do that. Okay, so I've got my bird. I think I'll start with gluing the bird behind the doors. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna have the bird facing the, the green part. Let's see, I think I'll open the doors. So I'm gonna bend back the doors like that so I can see what I'm doing. So now I've got the doors open, hello, cuckoo. And then I'm going to glue, you could also tape the bird behind the doors. So put the glue on the bird side of the picture. And glue it. I better open the doors in case the glue wants to glue the doors open. Noisy old table. Okay, let's open up the doors and see if I did it well. There's the bird behind the doors. I think maybe glue uh, tape, tape might have been better. Okay. Cuckoo. Okay, so now you can see that the Cuckoo clock has a roof on it, so I'm going to put the these colorful strips of paper on the triangle pointy part of this cuckoo clock. So I'm going to put some glue on one side and glue it down like that. And now I'm going to do the other side. And glue it down like that. Okay, and now I'm going to make the weights here. One is longer than the other one. I'm gonna turn it all the way over and I'm just gonna put some glue at the end of it because I'm just going to glue glue it on the back. So just a little bit on the end and I'll put that one here and a shorter one. These other two black ones have holes in them. Those are the hands for the clock. The ones that have the holes are for the hands of the clock. So you use the other ones that don't have holes for the weights that are down below the clock. Okay, and now we need to put the those ones on there. The things you pull, things you grab onto. So I just put at the little bit of glue at the end of the. I'm not sure what color yours are. So. one on here and a little glue on the top of this one and put it on this other weight this other chain I think it's made of chain and a real cuckoo clock okay so then I did that and now it's time to put the hands on the clock 
also, there should be a hole in the middle of your clock. There is a hole that goes all the way through the clock and the green part. But we have to put the hands in here. So put the hand through one, through both of these um, stems of the, what do you call this, uh, brad. It's called a brad. And through the other one. So we've got the two hands. And then we push, push this through the hole in the front of the clock and turn it over and you splay these, the brad part, the, uh, the arms of the brad down on the back as tight as possible so, so that the time, so that the hands will stay, stay. So let's make it five o'clock, five o'clock. So the little hand on the five and the big hand on the 12 means it's five o'clock and what and what does the bird say when it's five o'clock? Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Five o'clock says the cuckoo clock. I hope you have fun making your cuckoo clock and practicing making the different times. There's six o'clock with a little hand on the six. Six o'clock, time for dinner. <laughs> So I'll see you next week, okay? Bye for now.